boys and girls. This year's VBS is going to be a little different than in the years past because this year, instead of coming to the church, the church is coming to your home. It's going to be an awesome time at Vacation Bible School. Sunday through Thursday, June 7th through the 11th, each night at 6 p.m., we're going to be having a virtual VBS as we take, uh, as we blast off for mission control right there in your home. We will have crafts and music Bible stories. We'll even have a rec challenge each night for you and your family. And then the end on June 14th, Sunday, June 14th, we're going to have a family service where we're going to focus on our kids. And so if you're ready for VBS, virtual VBS coming soon, if you're ready to blast off for mission control, then don't forget on Sunday through Thursday, June 7th through the 11th, each night at 6 p.m., VBS is coming your way. Children's Church Car Edition is about to start. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can I get a woo woo? Woo woo. Children's Church Car Edition is about to start. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can I get a woo woo? Woo woo. Let's count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Hey everyone, and welcome to Children's Church in the back seat of your car. Today we're going to be learning a story out of the book of Luke and Matthew, and it's in the Bible, and the Bible is always, that's right, the Bible is always true, and today we're going to be talking about a story about a little girl, and when Jesus said it was time to get up, it's going to be so exciting, I hope you're listening. Okay, friends, so the beginning of this story is a little sad, so I want you to listen to the whole story because it has a really good ending, okay? So a leader of a synagogue fell down at Jesus' feet and was crying, Jesus, I need your help. My little girl is dying. He, he said, if you could just put your hands on her, I know she will be healed. <laughs> Pushing through the crowd, they met some men from his house. Your daughter is dead, they said. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. Believe and your daughter will be healed. What did Jesus say? He said, believe and your daughter will be healed. And we talked about this before. If Jesus says something, does he mean it? Yes. Let's see what happens next. Did Jairus believe Jesus could heal his daughter? So they got to the house and they found people crying for the girl. Why are you crying? Jesus asked. This girl is not dead. She is sleeping. The people laughed at him. <laughs> Jesus and the three disciples, Peter, James, and John, went into the house, and the little girl was laying there, just as everyone had said. The people laughed at Jesus because he said that the girl was not dead. True or false? Jesus took his hand and then he said something amazing. 
He said, "Stand up, little girl." And guess what happened? She did. <gasps> She even walked around the room. How amazing is that? <laughs> Jesus said, "Stand up," and she stood up. And then the man and the wife were so happy and amazed. And Jesus told them, "Do not tell anyone what I did." Now, said Jesus, "I think this little girl needs something to eat." Speaking of something to eat, are you getting a little hungry? Hmm. You'll probably have lunch soon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But let's ask some questions about the story first. Who did Jesus heal? The little girl. That's right. And what did Jesus tell him about believing? Hmm. Yes, he said. Believe and she will be healed. Hey, our friends, I got my checkers with me and my little hats. What are we gonna draw today, guys? A boy and a girl. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn my paper horizontal, and you guys keep your paper vertical, and you guys can draw your your girl and your boy big on the paper, okay? And then I'm gonna draw it a little bit smaller so I can fit both of them in. All right. So the first step we're gonna draw is the face of our person. And we're gonna draw this person. He's gonna be a little bit more harder than a stick figure, but he's gonna still be pretty simple. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. Okay. First step we're gonna draw is the face, and for both the boy and the girl, it's just gonna be a big U, like that. Maybe I should I should do this at the same time over here, huh? You want to leave some room at the top for. Hair. All right, good job. Okay, now let's do the ears. We're gonna do the same for both. Just draw two C's, one backwards and one for one forward. This is for the ears. Good job, good job, both of you. Then we can do a little six. We'll do a backwards six on this side, frontward six on this side, inside the ears. Okay. If you want to put earrings on yours, you could do that. You do little earrings, put little circles at the bottom of her ears. That's okay. That's okay, Chuckish. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now let's do the hair. Now I'm gonna draw the girl hair first. Should we draw hair kind of like yours? All right. So I'm gonna put a little S line. Yes, you can do. You can do curly hair. I'm gonna draw straight hair like hats. But our art friends can do curly hair, and we'll do spiky hair over here for the boys. Okay. All right. When you're do, you do that, hats, and I'm gonna show Checkers what to do with this boy. So we could do curly hair. We could do like little waves, or I'm gonna do spiky hair. So this is gonna be the line for the hair on it over his forehead. Good job, hats. How many spikes you got? All right. Should we keep going on yours, hats? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do two lines, two more lines for the hair, the outside of the hair, on one side. So go ahead and do that one. And we're gonna stop here, and then we'll finish the body. Yes. And then on this side, we'll do another line. It's a little smaller. It's not as big. Yours, yours will be a little bit bigger. Okay, checkers. We're gonna do the outside line for our hair. So I'm gonna do two lines that come out of his ears, the top of his ears, right here. Yeah, that's a good place. Good. And then I'm gonna do two little or three little spikes on this side. And then I'm gonna do some big spikes like that for the rest of his hair. Now our art friends, you guys do any kind of hair you want. I did spiky hair because Chuckers kind of has spiky hair, huh? But if you guys have curly hair, or I should have drawn no hair for me. <laughs> All right, hats, you guys, you you ready? 
Should we do our, let's do our eyes next, okay? So we're gonna do big, two big circles for the eyes on each side of the face. It looks like a zombie girl. Yeah. What the? He's a zombie boy. <laughs> zombie boy that's because we haven't drawn the inside of the eyes huh yeah. all right <laughs> so we're gonna do a circle inside inside the, the circle we just drew and this is so that they won't look like zombies huh <laughs> can you do that hats put another circle in there and then we'll do the little light catcher or light reflecting in the pupils so that's just a small little circle off to the side and then color it in. Okay heads, we got one more step for the eyes. What do you always like to put on your eyes? Eyelashes. Yes, of course. So I'm going to put three little lines on the side of her eyes. Just like that. You want to put eyelashes on no! yours? <laughs> Uh, and you put light eyelashes on the bottom. I love it. Okay, now we're gonna do a little nose, and that's just a little curved line in between the eyes. Good. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna do one more big, larger smile right under the nose for the mouth. I know what to do. Were you gonna do little cheeks? Little cheek lines. Let's do it just like heads. If you want, you don't have to. All right, okay, ready for a body? Yeah. Okay, this is where it's gonna get a little more tricky, but we're gonna keep it nice and simple. But it's gonna look cooler than a stick figure, huh? All right, we're gonna do two lines that come out of their body, okay? Same with you, Chuckers. Good job, Hats, you did it perfect. Good job. All right, okay, now we're going to connect them. We'll both both, alright? So connect them down at the bottom. It looks like um, it has a dress. Not yet. This is just the top body and then we're gonna do the legs underneath, okay? So can you do that, Hats? Alright, good job. And we are gonna, let's do a little dress for our girl. So two lines that come out at an angle. Yeah, for a little skirt. And you don't have to put a skirt. If you're drawing a girl, you don't have to do a skirt. I know what to do. You can like do curve lines up and down. Zigzag up and down. You can do that if you want. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple and just do a straight line that connects them. But yes, I love it, hats. Okay, checkers, we're gonna do straight lines down that don't go out. So just come straight down. <laughs> Not a skirt. Not a skirt. Okay, and then we're going to do a, a line that comes across on both sides, but leave a little gap, and then we're going to do an upside down V right in between. Looks like shorts! Awesome! And if you want it, if you're drawing a girl and you want to put shorts on yours, that's fine too, huh? You don't have to do a dress. Okay, alright, now what? Should we do the leg, uh, arms? Yeah. Okay. For the arms, we're going to do two lines that come out, just like this, and they're going to be right next to each other. And then we'll do it on the other side too, and you want them to be the same length and the same size, because they're symmetrical, right? What does symmetrical mean? They're Both of you. It means uh, the same. Same on what? Both sides. Yes, if you were to split down the middle, flip yours. it over. Oh yeah, the whole thing's not, yeah, she's not completely symmetrical, but a lot of her is, huh? So yeah, let me do, it. let me do the arms over here, yes. Do the boy over here. And well, after you practice drawing your boy, uh, or your girl, drawing them like this, with the arms doing this, um, the way that we're doing it, you can redraw your whole picture all over again and have her doing something else. You're throwing a ball, or like on a swing, or jumping, or running. Pretty cool. Should we keep going? Yeah. All right, let's do their all right, let's do their hands, okay? So we're gonna do uh, little U shapes for fingers. So we're gonna do the thumb first, and that's pointed straight up. It's a little U on, and a little U over here too. Yeah. 
<laughs> Wrong side, checkers. <laughs> That's okay. You got it? Good. And then we'll put a little line off the thumb, a little curved line off the thumb. And that's for this line right here. Like if you were to draw the thumb, and then we have another line right there. Okay? Yeah. All right, now let's do the fingers. We'll come out and we'll do another U, but it's more like a hook or a J. Good job, heads. We'll do an, another little finger. Next finger. Good. Yeah, it's okay. You can draw a little bit bigger if you want it. And then are you drawing it on this side too? There, let's straighten your paper. Okay, and then draw this side. Yeah, you want to draw the hands a little bit bigger so that um, you have room for all the fingers. Okay, I'm going to draw these guys. So our boy has fingers over here too. And then we're going to draw another little line that comes off of the finger. And this line is this line right here on the hand. Cool? Yeah, Hats, you could draw a little bit bigger. You're running out of room, huh? So we're going to draw the next finger. Go, Hats. We've got fingers on both sides. And then we're going to draw the last finger. And I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to actually connect the line all the way across. Like that. So it looks a little better. There we go. On both sides. We got our person. And then I connected the hand back to the wrist. Good job, Hads. That looks perfect. I like it. Your little girl's kind of up in the corner, huh? Maybe she's jumping. <laughs> you got it, Checkers? You got that little extra finger down there, huh? <laughs> there you go. Connect it right there. That's awesome, dude. I like it. Okay, let's finish their legs, all right? We're going to do the same down here. We're going to draw two lines that come down. I like the arms like that. We got it. Got our legs, okay. And then we're gonna do the feet. So I'm gonna do the boy boy feet first. Heads, you could actually do this too. We're gonna do two curved lines that come out on both sides. On this side, sorry. There we go. <laughs> Oops, you, you did it on both. That's, all right. That's awesome, Hads. I like it. I'm just gonna do a straight line. That's okay. You leave yours just like that. Okay, babes? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna connect the bottom so we extended the inside line. And then we're gonna connect the bottom like this. On here. Hats, can you do that and connect them? Yes. You know what? Hats' feet look like they're pointed straight out. And ours look like they're pointed kind of outside. And the hats looks like they're pointed straight. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to do, we'll put a little contour line right here at the ankles. Okay. little dress shoes on hats and then tennis shoes on checkers even though you you want you hats do you want to do tennis shoes or dress shoes dress shoes okay <laughs> we'll just do a little circle like this on both sides of your shoes okay oh you're kind of running out of room huh you can fit it in there if you want and then checkers we can do a little stripe dude. Hats, that's perfect. And then on checkers, on the tennis shoes, we'll draw a little bottom on the bottom of the shoe, like that. And then 
pants, we can leave yours. Then, we can put socks on the boy, or socks on the girl too. Do you want to put socks heads, or do you want to leave it? Do you want to put socks? Okay. I'm going to do a little shorter socks. Then we could do a design on their shirt or on their dress. Should we do a little flower on yours, heads? We do a circle in the middle, or we want to do something else? I don't know how to do a star. Okay, you do a star. I'm going to do a flower. Checkers, what are you going to put on your shirt? Curvy. Curvy? <laughs> that would be awesome. Chunkers is working on his shirt. Okay, we're gonna come over here and just do a curved line that comes down to her arm. And you can come down a little bit further and right, right there if you want. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out. Put your right hand in and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Good job, guys! I hope you had fun today in Children's Church in the back seat, and we'll see you soon. Everybody stay safe and healthy. Bye! Hey, kids. Do you know your ABCs? Let me tell you a story about Jesus Christ and His glory. Gather around, everybody. For awesome, our God, the one and three, Father, Son, and Spirit, blessed Trinity. B is for beautiful, the world that He has made, creatures great and small, oceans blue and jade. C is for colorful, the skin of you and me, were made in this image, as happy as could be. But D is for deceitful, the serpent spoke his lie. Adam and Eve ate the fruit, began to die. From A to Z, it's a story. All for Jesus and his glory. From A to Z, it's a story. All for Jesus and his glory. Evil, our hearts became like stones Since he did so deeply Right down to our bones Now F is for fall We fell and fell so hard It left us weak and dying Full of many scars G is for gloomy However could we cope With darkness all around us It seemed there was no hope Cause H is for holy God is pure and true if he is good and we are not, whatever will we do? From A to Z, it's a story. All for Jesus and his glory. From A to Z, it's a story. All for Jesus and his glory. I is for incarnation. God became a man, even before the fall, this is what he had planned. J is for justice, Christ came to satisfy all of God's commandments and us to purify. K is for kingdom, God's reign upon the earth, we must become like children in him at new birth. L is for love, just look to Calvary. Jesus gave his life, we would be made free. From A to Z, it's a story. All for Jesus and his glory. From A to Z, it's a story. All for Jesus and his glory. M is for 
mercy, compassion God has shown. In Christ we are forgiven, come before the throne. In this for narrow, the road is rough and steep. Few are those who find it, and on its pathway keep. Cause though is for one, our Jesus is the way. We'll follow Him no matter what the people say. He is for promise, our God is word is sure. He never will forsake us, so we we'll fast and do. From A to Z, it's the story. All for Jesus and His glory. From A to Z, it's the story. All for Jesus and His glory. not delay to repent and believe and have new life today all is for restoration all will be made right heaven and earth made one shining oh so bright yes is for shalom all will be at peace no more need for fences fighting or police T is for transformation, all will be made new. Bodies resurrected, hearts made good and true. From A to Z, it's a story. All for Jesus and His glory. From A to Z, it's a story. All for Jesus and His glory. From God and one another with purity of heart. B is for victory, King Jesus, he is one. We'll shout his praise forever, forever it is done. W is for wonder, we'll all be so amazed. God will show his power, we will sing his praise. X is for excellence, he's will proclaim them there. Then will be his presence, his beauty will declare, yeah. Why is for yearning, but not yet to our homes. Still eagerly we wait, longing for shalom. Z is for Zion, the city where we'll see. Father, Son, and Spirit, blessed Trinity. From A to Z, it's the stone. All for Jesus and His glory. From A to Z, it's the story. All for Jesus and His glory. From A to Z, it's the story. All for Jesus and His glory. From A to Z, it's the story. All for Jesus. And his glory.
these words as a Snapchat. Boomerang with the praise and the right back. Man, we hide in the sky, no turn back. If it be a last night, leave it all here. No fear, be clear, this is your year. Let go of anything that isn't God's steer. By Zine with the dream, man, it's so clear. Yeah, so clear. And you know, wherever you go, I'ma stick close. They gon' think we a duo. Bond so tight, hug it out like a sumo. And I never think twice, you the boss of my life, no, you go. And this world not down with us. They can try to limit faith, but it's down to us. Man, love so deep. 